252 in the edXL GCSE biology course where we're looking at the role of the xylem and we want to find out about how the xylem is transporting water and mineral salts from the roots to other parts of the plant. The kind of typical mineral salts that we could be talking about would be things like nitrates and phosphates water of course and the source of these three things here is down here in the soil in the soil water the water coming from rain or other groundwater sources and the water will be taken up by the root system the minerals will be these will be dissolved in the water uh, which has been taken up by the plant and the plant moves the water, the solution of minerals up and out to places such as the leaf or indeed up here to growth plants such as the terminal bud. The tissue through which this water and minerals moves is called the xylem. The direction in which water and the minerals move is a single direction always from the roots upward in the plant. This diagram shows a cross section, a transverse section or a cross section through the stem. And again we have a, the vascular bundles identified and on the outside as previously mentioned we have the phloem, the cambium in the centre here and on the inside this time we can see these circular structures, this is the xylem. Now in longitudinal section is looking at the stem long ways we can extract the xylem and we find this tubular system like this where these are the cell walls and the cell walls have additional thickening here shown as circular but it is possible for them to form a kind of a spiral structure around the tube like this um, and that supports this tube. There are no cross walls such as we found in uh, the phloem. So water moves upwards through these xylem tubes and within that water is dissolved the various mineral salts. 